Okay, guys, uh, this is going to be the Supergirl review. Uh, so let's get started. Um, this will be covering episodes 1 through 3. And then um, I will do another review for episode 4. Okay, my initial reactions to... Um, to... This... Uh, to the beginning of this uh, series. I will admit is kind of negative. Um, I was really, really concerned that this, um, that the quali- that the quality of the story and the tone were all wrong. Um, thankfully episode 4 has made me enjoy the show a bit more, but the first three episodes have worried me. Um, So basically we have um, Krypton being destroyed, um, that's how um, the show begins. Is Krypton is destroyed, which results in um, Kara Zor-El being sent to Earth. Um, and basically um, she goes in to the Phantom Zone, and while she's in the Phantom Zone, um, she is released from the Phantom Zone, and this results um, in a prison coming out of the Phantom Zone, and releases a load of villains onto Earth, which the D which the DEO then um, then try and track down. Meanwhile, we have um, Supergirl taken in by the Danvers family. Um, and this is all planned by, um, by Superman himself. And as we continue, um, Carol, um, sorry, uh, Kara is raised um, to hide her abilities until um, her sister's plane crashes um, and she rushes to save the plane. And this results in the DEO basically um, taking um, Supergirl in um, as, as one of their operatives and she is trained in the DEO to fight against um, various villains that have escaped from the Phantom Zone. Um, and this then results um, in what happens in episode 4. Meanwhile, we have um, we have this uh, this mysterious general um, from the Phantom Zone. Two guesses who it is. General Zod Feora, maybe? Um, who are basically in charge of all these Phantom Zone of people. Um, okay. This is kind of difficult, and... I will probably admit that the first three episodes are the most problematic, um... The most problematic, um of episodes. Um, episode 4 was absolutely perfect. Um, but the three, these three ones have a huge problem. <coughs> and, um, I think my, I think my first problem with, um, with this series is the constant Superman references. And not to the actual... Um, the actual um, comic book aspects and, you know, the whole up, up and away and is it a bird, is it a plane? No. 
We are talking about the actual man, the actual character of Superman. He is constantly referenced throughout the first three episodes. And it was ridiculous. Um, and it kind of made you feel like, well, where is this iconic character? Why hasn't there not been an interaction between uh, Cousin and... Between Kara and Superman. And it's just, it's very, very glaring when you look at the episode and Superman is not there, especially in episode three, where it is so, so clear that they wanted to have the character, but they can't because of the Man of Steel movie. And what we do is we completely, it messes everything up. Um, and the reason why I say that is, is because Kara isn't a, a really formed character. Um, and neither, uh, like, like, the supporting cast aren't developed enough to have such a well-established character come visiting in its fourth, in its third episode, and makes me, as a viewer, want to see him more than I do half of the members of this cast. Um, you know, which leads me into the problem with none of the supporting cast are especially great. Um, I feel like the actress, and this is a positive, the actress who is playing Kara tries to bring in more to the character than any of her supporting cast do. It is ridiculous. And I kind of feel bad for, um, I cannot remember the actress's name, but she's from Glee. Um... I kind of feel really bad for the actress because she pl she's not a perfect choice for the act, you know, for this role. But she, but bless her, she tries so so hard to in you know to make this character work, and none of the supporting cast, I feel, try. And I just don't like it. I just want um, Kara to. I mean, I mean to be honest, I think Kara should have been. You know, if this show doesn't make it to a se to a second season, put this actress in into the Legends of Tomorrow. Um, cast, because the actress deserves, you know deserves to play this role but the problem is it is it's the writing it's the tone I think the, I think the tone is too light um it's got very very weird lighting as well um when you look at the episode it just it looks too bright um there's no um light like it's too bright when you look at it um, especially when with flashbacks, because flashbacks are even worse. And just the tone makes it look really cheap. Um, the, the fact that it's too light in aspects um, sort of takes away the edge that I think if the actress could play um, not a dark, um, a dark Supergirl, no, but if she, if they just gave her just a little bit more of an edge, I think the actress would absolutely be phenomenal in this role. Um, in episode two, I thought they made the plot go way too fast. Um, we were introduced to the villains way too quickly. Um... And it just, it, it did not work. And I didn't like that. Um, and 
the love triangle in this story is also a bit meh, to be honest. That's not to say that I'm bashing this show. I actually do like the show. Um, and I thought, I thought the, the effects for the flying effects were really, really good. Um, there are a lot better flying effects, you know, because flying effects is quite a hard, um, a hard thing to do, as it's really hard to pull that off, but I thought the flying effects were good, um, I thought the sister relationship between, um, Kara and her sister was, was really good, um, I think Kat Grant is really, really good, and um, she's the actress who was in Ally McBeal, um, like, years ago, and, and she's a really, really good actress. Um, I think her interactions with Kara is really good, and just her personality is really good as well. Um, and also, is Kat Grant, um, and how she uses the media to promote Supergirl. And um, it's, this is done really, really well in episode 4. But I like the fact that Kat Grant branded Supergirl. And that she takes like some ownership. And this plays such a perfect thing in episode 4. Yeah. Um, Honestly, there's not a whole lot I can say, because, again, episode 4 is going to be completely different from my initial reactions to the first three. Um, honestly, this show does worry me. Not worry me, but... The show has its problems. And even in, in, in episode 4, again, it still has its problems. Um... And, you know, in, in a world where we have such a overcrowded market for comic book movies, they're going to have to make Supergirl stand out from all the rest. And I think they're in danger of failing to do that. Um, so, I don't know. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for... Um, Supergirl episode 4 and yeah I shall see you all soon bye